you alone are God. In every situation, you know what to do. In all situations, you are God. Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Today, I want us to preach the word of God as it's very, very important. Let's go to the book of Philippians. Let's go to the book of Philippians, chapter 4. I come here today with the solutions of life solutions of life life has solution philippians chapter 4 philippians chapter 4 i want us to read verse 4 below rejoice in the lord always again i will say rejoice rejoice in the lord always again i will say rejoice I want to preach a message that says, when will you be happy? When will you be happy? Because I understand that life will never give you a chance to be happy. I understand that the issues of life will never release you to be happy. 24 hours of the day, life will continue throwing some things to you. Life will make sure that it makes you never to be happy at all. But I discovered that somebody can be happy even in the midst of challenges. Somebody can be happy even in the midst of trouble. The Bible said rejoice in the Lord, in the Lord. The word of God began to tell us the area we can have joy at all times. The Bible began to tell us rejoice not in our business. Rejoice not in your marriage. Rejoice not because of your husband. Because your husband will always provoke you. I understand that a woman that said, I will be happy only when my husband makes me happy, that woman will never be happy. I understand that any man that said, oh, my happiness will come from my wife, that man will never be happy. Because love will never give him opportunity to be happy. But when we look at it, which area God promises us happiness always? You know, when we are reading Bible, we will pay attention to the word of God. Every letter in the scripture counts. Every letter in the scripture matters. The word of God said, Rejoice, I say unto you, Rejoice in the Lord. And I say unto you, Always rejoice. Only in the Lord a man can rejoice always. When God began to tell us to be happy, we know that we can be happy if we choose to. Let me tell everyone here, nobody can make you happy. Let me tell someone here, nobody can allow you to be happy. I discover that man is selfish in nation. I discover that human being, humanity that is selfish in nation. Nobody will allow you to be happy. Your happiness comes when you determine to be happy. Not because someone by your side make you happy. Not because someone by your side is always making you happy. If you are expecting every man around you to make you happy, you will live in sorrow. Do you understand, even as we are believing God, waiting for the time of God's visitation, even as we are believing God, waiting for the time of God's manifestation, let me tell you something, child of God. Do you understand that if you are not happy now, before the blessings of God come to your life or comes on your way, you may develop one sickness. And you cannot be able to live a happy life. What makes God to live happy? Is it because of what we acquire? No. What makes us to live happy? Is it because of our wife and our children? Both they matters, but they are not really. They are not really. What makes us to be happy? Is it because of the money we have in our bank? No. Where our happiness comes from? The Lord said, Rejoice only in the Lord. Rejoice. Rejoice, be glad 
in the Lord. Rejoice, 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 rejoice in the Lord. I rejoice, 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 rejoice. Be glad in the Lord. I rejoice. Spirit of the Lord in the heart of a man is something more than good. Hallelujah, something more than good. Hallelujah, something more than good. The Spirit of the Lord in the heart of a man is something more than good. The Bible makes us to understand that Joseph was in a prison yard but i understand that joseph even as the word of god did not put it down we understand that a man that spent years in prison without being happy in the lord cannot survive it i understand that joseph was in a prison yard and the lord did not allow us to know how many years he was in that prison because if the Lord told us how many years Joseph was in the prison yard, many of us, our heart would be discouraged. We understand a man called Job. Job was, was a man that he lost many things. He lost his ten children one day. But Bible said that in all these things, Job gave thanks to God. Job had that inward joy inside him. Let me ask you a question. If you refuse to be happy now, when will you be happy? I am asking everyone under the sound of my voice, Pastor, if you refuse to be happy now, when will you be happy? I said it several times. A man that is not happy in living in boys' water, a man that is not happy in living in one room boys' water, if you give that man three bedroom flat, he will increase his sorrow. He will never be happy there. I thought that before, that when a man have money, joy and peace and happiness will fill his life. I don't know it's not true. Until I come, I can't tell many millionaires. They have money. They have millions. They live in sorrow more than poor people. I have come, I can't tell many millionaires. I look at their life, I say, I don't want to be like this. Because these ones, they don't have joy. They don't have peace. Nothing makes them happy. Every day sorrow. Every day come. Every day sorrow. I now discover that happiness is beyond is beyond material possession. Happiness is beyond what we can grab, what we can achieve. A man that can be happy is a man that determines within himself, I must be happy. You can say to yourself today, I must be happy. Somebody, you can say to yourself, I must be happy. I must be happy. I will continue to be happy. Somebody can say, what is making you happy? People that ask me, say, brother, waiting the make you shine. I just they say them say, now Jesus they make me shine. All the people in the Bible that follow God, they find peace only in the Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, he promised us, Jesus said, in the world you will find, you will find trouble. Jesus told us that in the world we will see persecution, in the world we will see failure, in the world we will see shame, in the world we will see disgrace, in the world we will see heartbreak. But Jesus said, only in me you will find peace. Only in me you will find peace. You can never find peace anywhere. If you want to be happy, if you want to be happy through your business, I tell you, you will live in sorrow. If you allow your business to determine how you will be happy, when to be happy, and when to be angry, I tell you, you will always be angry. Because that day you may go to market without selling. If you determine and say, oh, I will be happy with my wife, I will be happy, I will be driving my toy through my wife, your wife may not cook for you that day. Even when your wife tries to cook, salt will be too much in that soup. 
that will provoke you. Somebody said, ah, my joy will come when my husband make me happy. Sister, that day your husband may give you a baby slap. Until a man will find joy in the Lord, your happiness must come from the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. And I say unto you, always rejoice. Many things that keep people this generation is not because God is not ready to answer us, but because many people before God to answer them, they are dead. A lot of people that have trusted God, they trusted God more than many years before God to answer them, they die. Because they did not mix their life with joy. They did not allow joy to enter their life. They allow what they are seeing to control them. And he bring high beauty. He bring many things, bring untimely death. For me, I have already made up my mind, I will always be happy. I have always made up my mind, nothing will provoke me. It is when I determine to be angry, I will be angry. Nobody can make me angry. Nobody. I have come and kept out different people. Sometimes they'll be laughing at you. They say, oh, oh, oh. they laugh at you. They mock you. And people mock you in your face, face to face. And when you come and enter that situation, when people are mocking you, you will be laughing at them. As they are mocking you, you will be laughing at them. What is that thing that you allow to make you not be happy? Even when you are shameless, all the people that have children, do they go to play with their children? Before I married, I vowed to myself, if God refused to give me one single child, I will not disturb my life. I vowed to myself, even before I married, I vowed. If God refused to give me a child, one child, I will be happy. I will never. This thing they say, oh, this one, don't do this thing. I will never do that. I know that God wants me to train others. What is that thing that is taking away your joy, taking away your peace? Look at everybody. Look at everywhere. You look at the life. Every day, sorrow is increasing. Every day, life is throwing stone at you. Life is throwing stone at you. Life is throwing stone. Stone of disgrace, stone of shame. Every day, life is throwing stone. When you want to solve the one problem, another one will come. When you want to solve this one, another one will come. When you think that you have paid your children's school fees, your landlord will come and knock at your door. When you try that you pay your husband, your landlord will tell you, no, me and Fema, me and Fema, with no peace. When you think that, look at the life. What is that thing you want to be happy from? If not from the Lord. If not only in the Lord. A sister, a brother, approach one lady and say, sister, I want to marry you. Will you marry me? The sister said, I <laughs> will marry you. And the brother decided to do wedding card and put the day of marriage. Everything. Put the day of wedding. Everything. And sister was busy sharing her wedding card to her friends. Sharing her wedding card to her loved ones. Hey, so 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 there is the day of my traditional marriage. And also my wedding. Wow. Make sure you are there. Brother, make sure you are there. Make sure you are there. I am waiting for you. People are saying this, that sister. Congratulations, uh, congratulations, uh, congratulations. Uh. Sister will say thank you. You know, hey sister, congratulations. This coming Saturday is your day. Sister say thank you. But that sister received a great news. Shock news. On Friday night, sister, they have already bought everything they need to use to do wedding. His family, they are cooking. Everybody, wow! Tomorrow and tomorrow. Sister have already gathered wedding gown, everything. Sister received this message on her phone. And that brother said, um, I don't think that this wedding will proceed. On Friday night, that brother canceled the whole thing. Her joy turned into sorrow. I am praying for someone here. Your joy will never turn into sorrow. Amen. In the name of Jesus, your sorrow shall turn into joy. Amen. In the name of Jesus, what makes you angry today will make you laugh again. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. this is the her joy turn into sorrow. But something happened. Next day being Saturday, that her fiancé still wet that next day. Her fiancé still wet the next day. But guess what? Her fiancé decided to wear to marry her gay friend. Her gay friend was the one the man who married next day. 
she still wanted to kill herself. There was a sister that said, Oh, I will die. That is the same. No, I will die. I will die. I will burn myself. I will go to police station by petrol. Burn myself. Sister, if you die, what happened? What changed? the sister that just wedded without her fiancé. After that marriage, the sister was rejoicing. Hey, finally, finally, I don't marry. I don't snatch that man from my girlfriend. And his sister was happy. After three months of the wedding, the man died. After three months of the wedding, that man died. Even the second sister entered into show. Let me ask you, if you refuse to be happy now, when will you be happy? If you refuse to be happy now, brother, when you have the ability to be happy is now. If you refuse to be happy now, when will you be happy? Do you think that material things will bring joy to your life? I discovered the more God is giving you money, the more responsibility is increasing. That is what I find out. I find out that when a man cannot be able to feed himself and eat a square meal in a day, his responsibility is more. If you don't let God increase you, your responsibility will increase. And you must come to a place to say, I must be happy. Tell yourself, I must be happy. I no matter happy. what I am facing, I must be happy. Be happy. Even when I could not pay my rent, I must be happy. happy. Because he's a living man, he's a human being, he's a living soul that will pay for rent. People that I watch are not paying for rent. You must tell yourself, I must be happy. Even when you could not able to pay your children's school fees, you are trying all your best. And God Himself knew that you are trying all your best. Yet at the end of your struggle, you couldn't meet up. The Lord will help you to meet up in Jesus' name. Amen. But choose to be happy. Choose to be happy. Happiness comes from the Lord, not from any other thing. Happiness comes from the Lord, not from any other thing. I made up my mind to be happy. Before I summarize this message today, the Lord sent me to Nyanapaja and I was happy. We decided to get a place of worship. After that, and God sent another pastor who happened to be a residential pastor at Agege Branch. I said, wow, what a glorious life. We are still enjoying God. And one day the Spirit of God began to tell me something. The Lord began to show me something. The Lord began to show me something. I begin to see that the pastor of the branch will leave. I say how? I don't know why. And one day we went to church. The man of God, the pastor came to me and said, Pastor, there are glory be to God. Miracle has happened. And it happened that we have to relocate to another country. I say glory be to God. And they move. The branch where the pastor is holding is no longer. In fact, no pastors to stay there. I look at the issues of life. I say, even in this condition, I must be happy. Somebody, you can tell yourself, I must be happy. You can tell yourself that. You can tell yourself, I must be happy. What did I do? I decided to lock up the branch. I locked the branch one month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, seven months. I must be happy. <laughs> Somebody, if you did not understand life, you will live in sorrow. And um, after locking it, I look, I say, no, no need of paying for this place and locking it up. We decided to give it to one church, be using it for now. That is how we can do for the kingdom. Somebody, you can go to a place to say, I must be happy. Nothing will take away my joy. Nothing will take away my peace. Nothing will take away my joy. I must be happy. Brother, if you refuse to be happy now, when will you be happy? <laughs> Some people say, I couldn't sleep in the night. I say, why? He say, oh, I am paying rent. Okay. As you are paying rent, you couldn't sleep in the night. Yes, sir. Okay, have you paid your rent? <laughs> you could not able to sleep in the night. Yes, sir. Because of your husband. She said, yes, sir. Okay, as you have not sleep, as you did not sleep in the last night, have you paid your rent this morning? <laughs> he never paid his husband. 
Some people say, oh, oh, this thing is tired in me. Why is I am tired of this life? Brother, <laughs> you say you are tired of this life because you never understand how to live in the world. Jesus said that our happiness will come from him. From him. Only from him. If you want to have happiness outside Christ, is sorrow that Jesus told us. And the man that is happy in the Lord is not focusing on what he's saying. I am now more than what I see. Hallelujah. I'm now more than what I feel. Hallelujah. I'm now more than what they say. to pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. You can honor the Lord by being on your feet. Let's pray. The Lord laid this in my heart that this is the message to preach. That when I come here today, I will preach on this message. Be happy. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. There are many questions of this life that man has no answer. There are many things in this life that man, human being, has no answer. But I am praying for someone, the Lord will give you answer. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to pray for you, wherever you are. I am praying for someone that believes the message of God here. Whatsoever that is bringing sorrow in your life. May happiness and joy of the Lord replace it in Jesus' name. Amen. I am praying for you that your business will experience the joy of the Lord. Amen. Your marriage will experience the joy of the Lord. Amen. Your finance will experience the joy of the Lord. Amen. Bible makes us to understand there are many afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Whatsoever soul, whatsoever condition you find yourself today, may the Lord come for your rescue. Amen. May the Lord Almighty give you deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. God that delivers Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego will not abandon you. Amen. God that delivered Daniel from the den of lion will never abandon you. Amen. God that delivered Joseph from prison yard will never forsake you. Amen. I am praying for you that the same God who protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and the promoted them at the end. May the Lord promote you out of your problem. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I am praying for someone here that your sorrow shall turn into joy. Amen. Even when you don't know how it will happen, the Lord will command deliverance from Zion on your favor. Amen. The Lord will command favor for your sake. Amen. Even when Joseph was in the prison yard, we don't have anybody to call for his rescue. But the Lord rescued him. The Lord delivered him. So shall the Lord deliver you out of your troubles in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, our Instagram handle is the cell one account, Anthony Ministry TV. Also, every morning by 8 a.m., every morning by 8 a.m., follow us live on Facebook. Every morning by 8 a.m., follow us live on Facebook. That is the hour of blessing. We are doing a program online on Facebook called the Hour of Blessing. Three minutes to five minutes we are spending there. So make sure you receive that blessing of every day. We pray, we decree the blessings of God upon our life for the day. Every day, Monday to Sunday, once it is 8 o'clock, join us wherever you are through our Facebook page so that we can follow the same, we can follow along and the blessing of the Lord shall come upon you in Jesus' name. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore.